I was scared to ride my bike. I think I was like nine or 10. Everybody else had been riding their bike. I didn't want to scratch my knee. I was scared to swim. I was old as My sister, I was playing knock hockey at a pool place and I overheard that my sister, I think my mom was like, yay, Liz is swimming. I stopped playing knock hockey, I was nine and a half. I ran and jumped in the pool and tried to make pretend that I learned how to swim first. I was scared to ask girls out. I was scared to do a million fucking things. Fear is part of it. To answer your question, every time I was scared, once I did it, I wasn't fucking scared anymore. This is why I think kids should still be fighting each other. I think one of the things that we fucked up, besides eighth place trophies, is kids don't fight in grammar school anymore. I think you should all go home from VCon and tell your little ones to punch some kid in the face tomorrow. Not for your kid, but once that kid gets punched in the face, they won't be scared of getting punched in the face anymore. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not fucking kidding. But why I wanted to tell that story is we need to think. If you sterilize everything, you groom zoo animals. I don't know if you know what happens when a zoo animal gets put back in the wild. It gets killed in 37 seconds. We need to get comfortable with fear and losing as a society, understand it, play with it, and build. The answer to your question, brother, is everything I was scared of once I did it was a win, and it's never been a loss in my life. It might have not worked out the way I wanted to, but I promise you, I don't even remember. I've lost so much. I've got so many micro losses. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm ringing doorbells at eight years old trying to sell something. When the first four people say no, those are losses. I've lost so much, it's my comfort zone. I'm a fucking Jets fan. Bunch of buddies in my, bunch of people in my life, what, how'd you feel yesterday with the Andrew Schultz roast? I'm like, motherfucker, I'm from Jersey. I was born in the 80s, I grew up in the 80s and 90s. My friends made fun of me way worse than that last night when I went in between one class to another in fucking the hallway, motherfucker. Give a fuck about some jokes. We need to be tougher, we need to get more comfortable with fear. I don't know if you heard, but high school is over. The amount of people that put other people's opinions of them on a pedestal is an issue. It is a concern of mine even with myself. I, don't, I, I would die if you valued my opinion of you over your opinion of yourself. When I tell you to answer his question directly, how do you go through the system? It's one of the biggest reasons I'm so excited about VCon. As I pushed early on and as how I tried to find other moments with all of you, pushing you to the answer to this question, which is called practice. The way you get better at anything in the world is practice. You wanna get better at basketball, you practice. You wanna get better at singing, you practice. You wanna get better at DJing, you practice. You wanna cook better, you practice. You wanna be a better entrepreneur, you practice. You wanna get better at having self-confidence, you practice on not valuing someone else's opinion over your own opinion of yourself. You practice by putting yourself out there more. More, more. The context of this conference is super powerful and will be no question an aggressive theme of mine for 2024 is to push you to say hello to more people. More, more, because what you're gonna get here, as you know, is positive reinforcement. You're gonna get reciprocated likely at a high percentage in a good way. You may, by the way, I'm not naive. I'm sure that even though we tried to push this nice movement like all this, that some people weren't receptive and things of that nature, they might have been dealing with something, they might be introverted themselves, but you get practice. The way you get more confident in yourself is you stop putting other people's opinions of yourself in front of yours. Then they go to me, but Gary, what if it's my opinion of myself that I suck? Then I remind them that that was instilled in you. If you think you suck as you sit here today, 
that you suck. I want you to understand something. That was somebody else's voice putting that inside of your head. That person felt sucky about themselves too. Something I'm about to start making a lot of content around is called, fuck your grandparents. (laughs) Yep, new big pillar for me coming in 2024. Whole framework, it's called fuck your grandparents. Let me tell you why. Oh, so many people in here running around with so much fucking anger and hate towards their mom and their dad and giving granny a pass when she was the one that fucking made them. So many people in this room mad as fuck at daddy when daddy's dad fucked them the fuck up. So a lot of you love grandma. She gave you some cookies and shit. Hate your fucking mom. But the grandma was the fucking problem. But here's where it gets interesting. 2026, I'm coming out with fuck your grandparents' parents. (laughs) My friends, how about instead of being really fucking mad at your parents, then moving that on to hating the shit out of your grandparents, then deciding your great grandparents were the actual shit, and then starting some weird fucking family tree fucking hate framework. How about we start deploying compassion? How about you start feeling bad for your mom and dad? How about the people here that haven't talked to a relative, a brother, a sister, a cousin, a mom or an aunt, how about you leave VCon and fucking call them and say, I'm sorry because this shit doesn't actually fucking matter. And you know what's most interesting to me? is how not loud that clap is, right? You know what was just interesting about everything? Is y'all aren't ready. You you like resentment as your partner. You like the ability to blame someone else. We need to get off that drug. We need to start deploying compassion, not resentment. I wanted to talk about fear today because it is the punchline. Just so you know, the world is weaponizing fear to make you think shit. Everybody, left, right, up, down, this, that, country, like everybody does the same shit. I don't want to hear your boring conversations about politics or this, that, it's all the same shit. Everyone's imposing fear on you. Everyone. Everything you must do is, to the answer of this question, understand fear, why? Why are you scared of your kids getting kidnapped and you won't let them go out? Really, the media pumps it in your head. Because fear gets ratings, doesn't it? Fear gets clicks. Fucking pisses me off. The way I teach people is we talk about it. I just don't think, I mean every day that goes by I think about fear. I spend an obnoxious amount of time on fear. My intuition is that most people in this room are not spending every day thinking about how fear plays a part in their life. Why are they scared and what are they scared of? The answer to the question is that it's not that I know that I teach, it's that I know that it's something we need to talk about. And the more we talk about it, the more likely we can do something about it. The more educated we are. People are like, Gary, you hate education. I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? I don't hate education. All I do is education. I hate the way that education is being sold to our children in 2023. We need to educate more about fear, understand fear, and understand it.